Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, your home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we're going to be profiling Immunoprecise Antibodies Limited. This is a biotech company that's on the cutting edge of development. A lot going on, a lot to be excited about. Before we get into it, take a second, hit the like button, you guys. Big help to myself and the channel, specifically in getting this content to other people like you who may find value. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let us know in the comments section below if you've heard of Immunoprecise antibodies before, if you're currently holding shares, and your outlook on the sector. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Immunoprecise Antibodies Limited. Trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker symbol IPA. Now this is as of Friday, January 24th, mid-morning. You can see they're down just north of 6% or about four cents on the day. Currently trading hands at around 56 cents a share. And Immunoprecise Antibodies has actually received a lot of attention recently. If we zoom out to a five day, you can see they're up one and a half percent. And at a one month view, a respectable 42% increase. Now this is a super interesting company for a number of reasons. They're harnessing the power of AI technology to really help assist in the drug discovery pipeline or process. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Now, if we jump over to the corporate website, we can take a closer look at what IPA or Immunoprecision Antibodies is all about. I'll leave this linked in the video description below, ipatherapeutics.com. And on their landing page, you can see exploring the latest state-of-the-art technologies to really assist in protein production. So IPA's advanced protein production workflows are customized to deliver a wider range of conventional to complex recombinant proteins and antibody formats, including mono, bi, and tri, along with multi-specific antibodies. These are suitable for research and preclinical applications. Our efficient processes ensure accelerated turnaround times and exceptional results. So what this means in plain English, you guys, the drug discovery process is very costly, it's time consuming, and generally a very slow overall procedure. It takes years and in some cases decades to work through the drug discovery pipeline. And after all of that work and time investment, around 90% of new drugs actually fail. The reason for that biology is insanely complex and traditional AI models up until this point just weren't robust enough to handle all that type of complexity. Now where it gets really exciting for IPA, or their main point of differentiation, is they've built something called HYFT technology. We're gonna learn about this next up in the video. And this is really a major paradigm shift. Instead of treating DNA and proteins as a bunch of raw sequences, the HYFTs break them down into meaningful structured patterns and then are able to index those patterns in a system similar to how Google would organize internet pages on their web search. So think of it as IPA is currently mapping the entire biosphere and then indexing everything that they're finding. Now from there, we're gonna talk about some of their AI implications, their Lens AI platform, and this is really that next step in artificial intelligence. And that means now, instead of companies blindly guessing on which drugs may work, again, generally with around a 90% failure rate, IPA's AI can now predict, design, and optimize therapies with a level of accuracy that wasn't possible before. So another great practical application of artificial intelligence in the healthcare or medical world. And keep in mind, this drug discovery market is expected to reach a $100 billion valuation in the next decade, which is exactly why investors are starting to take notice of the IPA story. Now, I just mentioned one of the big breakthroughs at IPA was this HYFT-based methodology, and it really dates back to this article from the 13th of November, 2023, when it all began. So BioStrand, which is a subsidiary of Immunoprecision Antibodies, unveils a revolutionary approach to biological sequence retrieval, a fusion of natural language processing and database research. Now, the key highlights from this white paper were the introduction to these HYFT patterns, using these essentially as a unique signature sequence akin to a biological fingerprint 
that's found in amino acids, DNA, and RNA. Now, as we just talked about, parsing and indexing with HYFTs allows the company to actually sequence and prioritize as non-overlapping HYFTs with lower ranks, ensuring comprehensive coverage of the sequence. So essentially these HYFTs were the missing link, eliminating what's known as the black box problem in AI drug discovery. Now the next big development came on the 7th of March, 2024. IPA subsidiary Biostrand once again unveils major breakthrough in life sciences with their advanced foundation AI model utilizing LLM, or a large language model stacking and HYFT technology. Central to the success of Biostrand's Foundation AI model is its utilization of the patented HYFT technology, which is that sophisticated framework designed to identify and leverage universal fingerprint patterns across the biosphere. Now, Biostrand's platform core is built upon a comprehensive and continuously expanding knowledge graph mapping 25 billion relationships across 660 million data objects and linking sequence, structural, and functional data from the entire biosphere to written text such as a scientific literature providing a holistic understanding of the relationships between genes, proteins, and biological pathways. And that's the complexity that we mentioned earlier, you guys. Imagine trying to take a stab in the dark with over 25 billion different relationships and 660 million data objects. Just not possible without these breakthroughs in artificial intelligence. So this is where it now gets very interesting. If you look under their AI technology banner, you can see their Lens AI applications. And as they mention on the website, connecting the dots for antibody discovery with a scalable framework. So Lens AI integrates intelligence technology powered by that HYFT platform we just talked about, multi-omics processing technology utilizing a universal and scalable framework developed specifically to manage and analyze this pool of extremely heterogeneous omics data for antibody discovery. So it's really this partnership between the HYFT platform and this Lens AI technology that allows IPA to sift through complex layers of information inconceivably fast, create structure for unstructured data, extract knowledge from patterns, and identify relative insights at a speed that simply wasn't available just a few years ago. So think of Lens AI not just as another AI model, but more of a biological intelligence system that connects those 25 billion biological relationships we just mentioned. Now that brings us to an article that was put out on the 28th of March last year, 2024, InterSystems and IPA subsidiary Biostrand once again collaborate to unveil the innovative integration of vector search with the Lens AI platform for AI-driven healthcare applications which essentially means the integration of the vector search capabilities of the InterSystems IRIS data platform with IPA's subsidiary Biostrand and their Lens AI platform. Now this collaboration is a significant leap in the technological advancement for addressing challenges with the increasing volume of data in the healthcare and life sciences industry and with the global AI market expected to reach 1.3 trillion by 2032, this collaboration really highlights IPA's commitment to innovation excellence and the development of solutions that will not only meet the current needs of healthcare, but needs into the future as well. And you can see this combination of the two systems, InterSystems Vector Search and IPA Lens AI, now offers unparalleled tools for extracting value and insights from complex data sets, driving forward the potential for AI in every application within the healthcare and life sciences sector. So you can see how quickly this technology is growing and new use cases are coming about. Now the next step in this journey really came towards the end of August last year. Amino Precise Antibodies successfully engineers in silico antibodies to elusive tumor proteins using this patented Lens AI technology with the key takeaways being a highly specific binding of novel antibodies to a tumor microenvironment protein of previously unknown structure that was verified in a laboratory setting and the targeted protein residing within the harsh tumor microenvironment represented a key challenge in the healthcare and treatment of cancers that they've now made significant progress on. Now this achievement itself was made possible through this patented Lens AI technology, which was able to model the protein's structure and accurately engineer antibodies specifically tailored to bind to it. Now Dr. Jennifer Bath, who's the president and CEO of IPA, goes on to say this is a significant milestone for the biotechnology industry, demonstrating Lens AI's ability to engineer highly specific and validated antibodies 
antibodies for the exceedingly difficult environment around tumors and doing so entirely on a computer. And that's really the major game changer here is we're now able to simulate and use technology to assist in this process that was previously done through trial and error. Now the next big update came out just last week on the 17th of January 2025 talking about immunoprecise antibodies realigning their pipeline strategy empowering drug discovery with this AI platform and first principles of innovation. So they once again go on to highlight the problems with traditional drug discovery, the cost, the failure rate, and the time set. That ultimately led to the mindset of creating this Lens AI platform, which allows IPA or immunoprecise antibodies to design better drugs faster, predict toxicity, and optimize therapeutics before they have to initiate this costly lab work. And once again, Dr. Jennifer Bath goes on to say our AI powered pipeline represents a major leap forward for IPA. By harnessing AI and rethinking drug discovery from the ground up, we're not just improving the process, we're fundamentally changing what's possible. The pipeline lays the foundation for groundbreaking advancements in therapeutic development, embodying our vision of innovation driven by clarity, precision, and purpose. So as we've seen throughout today's presentation, it's really the pairing of this HYFT technology along with this groundbreaking innovation on the AI front that's allowed IPA to really take advantage of this opportunity. And as we can see with this press release from the 30th of March, 2023, they've already got collaboration research agreements in place, in this case with Estella's and many other reputable partners in the industry. So in closing, you guys, this AI-driven drug discovery market is expected to exceed $100 billion in the next decade. IPA already has patented technology both with their HYFT technology and their Lens AI platform that really allows them to scan, process, and index billions and billions of data points that wasn't possible just a few years ago. And obviously, as we saw with the share price movement in the intro, Big Pharma is starting to pay attention. AI first biotech companies are also paying attention. And that's exactly why we thought it may be a good time to start or initiate your research on IPA and throw this one on your watch list. AI isn't just changing the game of drug discovery, it's completely taking over among many other industries. And for those reasons, this is definitely one you may wanna keep an eye on. Now, if you're still watching the video, let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of IPA immunoprecision antibodies before, your thoughts on today's video and outlook for this company in 2025. Feel free to hit the like button, you guys. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another video.